trying to be out there and, and talking to the media about the reforms and talking about what's going on. So um, we've, we've got a bit of a strategy with that as well. So it's, although that's not necessarily part of the campaign, that's um, other work that APHA is doing as well at the same time. Right, on to the campaign. Um, so I think I've met everybody out having coffee, but if I didn't get a chance to meet you, I'm Lisa Ramshaw. I'm the Director of Communications and Marketing at APHA. And um, some of you, I know, came to the member forums last year and were part of the campaign this past year. Um, and hopefully you all recognize this logo. And it's been our campaign tagline for the last year. It will remain our campaign tagline for this year. And it aims to show the great work that you and your staff and your teams do every day in hospitals across the country. Um, so over the next half an hour or so, I'm going to take you through the campaign, briefly recap on where it came from and what we achieved last year, and then share with you our plans for 2011 and talk about next steps, about how you can help and how we can help you and what you can expect out of us. So everybody here um, knows that the reforms that the Rudd government put forward were not going to favor private hospitals last year. So the private health insurance rebate testing and the like we thought could be the thin edge of the wedge as far as reforms that could leave the sector vulnerable. And we wanted to enter that debate. And we also wanted to have the support of the community. We knew our patients and um, the community support private hospitals and members of parliament really only listen when members of the community are out there talking about an issue. APHA staff, obviously, were working to ensure private hospitals had a voice and a position at the reform table, but we were also up against a lack of knowledge about what private hospitals do, and that wasn't helped by things like this quote from Minister Roxon in 2009. So, to fully appreciate where the, com where the community stood and the knowledge that they had about private hospitals and our role in the health system, we benchmarked community attitudes. A survey was commissioned in late 2009, testing a whole range of opinions. And what we found was that too few Australians knew what private hospitals did, how we offer almost the same services as public hospitals, the diversity of private hospitals and hospital care, and the role that private hospitals play. But on the positive side, Australians agreed that the public hospital system would not cope if we were not around, so we needed to inform and garner support from the community. So this research, um, with so we were kind of armed with this research, and it provided us an opportunity to act. We wanted to shine a light on the great work that you do every day, and show how vital it is in the lives of patients, families, and the broader community. So we devised a campaign that would address these gaps and build support. Campaign objectives. The campaign objectives aimed to build awareness of the value and the benefits of private hospitals. Through sharing facts and gathering stories, the campaign would support the ongoing activity of APHJ to advocate and lobby on behalf of our members and ensure private hospitals were part of the health reform process, having government look at the total health system and not just part of it. Importantly, we needed to garner and mobilize community support for private hospitals by encouraging people to share their stories, making it personal and real. To ensure that when government was looking to introduce reforms that might affect a person's ability to see a specialist of their choice or go to a private hospital or day surgery, those people would speak up and say why, value, why they value the private hospitals and the quality care that you provide. So the way we've approached this campaign is to begin with those in the community who already see the value of private hospitals, our patients, and also our staff. We want to encourage them to share their stories and support the campaign. Reaching out into the wider community, we want them to hear these stories and understand why private hospitals are so important. And ultimately, we want our patients, our hospital staff, and at least sections of the wider community to participate in the campaign and also keep the government accountable for any reforms that might see the private sector undermined. As 
you can see, the campaign is made up of a number of elements to ensure that it's effective. And we want to reach our audiences and encourage them to participate and add their support, including traditional and online media, a website, the use of collateral, campaign champions in our hospital, which I know quite a few of you here today are campaign champions, and through a focus on private hospitals through our first private hospital week that was held last year. And I'm pleased to say that so far the campaign is having some positive impact. Um, just quickly, here are some highlights from the first year of the campaign. So far we have 132 champions. We've distributed a quarter of a million pieces of collateral through hospitals across the country, including posters, brochures, and bookmarks. We have 616 Facebook fans. 233 Twitter followers, and we've achieved 43 pieces of media coverage in mainstream and local pa papers and radio. We've also seen some change in awareness through our second community attitude survey that we undertook. Knowledge, is, knowledge of the services private hospitals offer has increased, and so has the support for a mix of public and private services. And more people agree that the private health insurance rebate should not be means tested. So I thought you might like to hear a few comments from a few of our champions about how the campaign worked in their hospitals last year. During private hospital week in 2010, Ramsey Healthcare concentrated on staff appreciation and recognising that our staff would respect this industry, that ran staff barbecues and staff forums, and that was a great way to recognise them. Tuong Private Hospital participated in a number of activities during the Value and Climate Hospitals campaign last year. They included distribution of the posters, the brochures, staff barbecues, and a number of rotating sessions throughout the month to increase awareness of the campaign and the value of private hospitals to doctors, staff, and the patients as well. The best part of Private Hospital Week last year and throughout the whole year was checking into the Value of Private Hospitals website and finding some fantastic comments on there from patients about our hospitals that uh, we didn't know were there, so um, restricting those and uh, you know, letting us see them was fantastic. So, the campaign remains relevant. Although we have a different person in the role of Prime Minister, we all know that health reform is going to continue for some months to be a priority for this government. And it's especially precarious, as we've just heard through Michael's comments, given the minority government and the changes in the Senate in July, where nine Green senators in the chamber will have policy platforms that favor the public sector. Private health insurance rebates are certainly in the crosshairs this year, as evidenced by the health minister's quote yesterday. Quote, we are committed to reintroducing our private hospital insurance changes into the parliament this year. These changes will ensure government subsidies through the rebate are not directed toward the richest in society and remain focused on the millions of low and middle income Australians who need and deserve this. So this will be a significant issue for the sector and the community in 2011. The pressure to do something with rebates is helped along by the increasing pressure on the budget and the devastating floods and cyclones earlier this year. So we are firmly set on continuing our campaign this year with a variety of elements as you see here. First off, Private Hospital Week. We'll be running Private Hospital Week as a focal point for the campaign. It will run from the 4th to the 8th of April. It provides an opportunity to profile the sector nationally and but also feature local events held in your hospitals. Celebrating our staff will be a key theme this year and we'll be announcing the APHA Valuing Private Hospital Staff Awards that have been sponsored by HESTA. And um, those awards, we've chosen the finalists and the award winners will actually be um, announced during Private Hospital Week. With the success of last year's Facebook competition that we had, we'll be running a second one over March that will culminate in winners being announced in Private Hospital Week as well. This year, the competition is focused on a fun way to get hospital staff involved in Facebook. So speaking of social media, social media has become a really valuable tool for this campaign and as a focus for getting our messages out to the public, but also growing the community of private hospital supporters. Um, I thought I'd share a short clip 
with some amazing facts about social media. I know um, if you talk to anybody over about 30, they kind of aren't quite sure what social media is all about. And this clip, I think, really um, will give you some interesting stats and give you some things to think about to take home um, about why we're